Hello everyone, welcome to TPB Bi-Weekly Meeting. Uh, this is our first meeting in 2019, so happy new year to everyone. So since our last meeting, uh, we have uh, we are getting a couple of uh, a couple of uh, attention from people. Uh, in last two weeks, we got double of our stars. This is the exact mirror of how what we are doing right now. Uh, we also got on the top page of uh, uh, the news, uh, and that's also twice. Uh, so good work, guys, and keep it up. So, uh, task completed since uh, uh, our last uh, QPD meeting, uh, we have done the subject of operator monitoring. Uh, this is done by Imbrus. Uh, we now QPD operating can be enabled by just uh, providing some flags and the instruction will be configured automatically. Uh, the, Metrics, uh, some uh, some Golang metrics will be available and they are quite useful. Uh, let me see, uh, show this metrics. This is a very long doc, thanks to Ingles. And these are the available metrics for from uh, KPP operator pod. And this is not a database uh, matrix. This, uh, this is the matrix from uh, KPP operator itself. Uh, so uh, it was not supported there. And the health was available, but not the matrix. So now on, user will be able to get the matrix from operator deployment too. And just, uh, just to enable, you yeah, just have to uh, provide the enable uh, enable flag and also provide the have to provide the monitoring agent and if I promise this in space yeah, then the user will be all set. The next task uh, is a completed which is now is a is also had added monitoring doc updated the monitoring doc of the existing uh, uh, improvising the existing docs. Uh, I also write a doc on how to update the 0.8.0 to 0.9.0. There are many people ask how to do it. So I write a proper way by testing myself. Uh, this way, you just won't have to face any uh, accidental deletion or uh, uh, whatever. So user, user can do it just following this. Uh, doc and this is very short but good enough to guide the user. Also, there was a, a issue on a pair finder binary. We have forked it in our repo and updated the uh, binary in MongoDB. Uh, from our next release, user can uh, have a uh, user can have the updated version. So the problem was uh, it was not working. The pair finder was not working for custom domain name, and because the pair finder binary was uh, release was, to, was very old, so we forked it in our K modules uh, organization, and then released a binary on master. Uh, then it is all okay now. We have tested, and the user who uh, issue issue file issue file the issue uh, also confirmed that it, uh, it is working. So that's the task completed. Uh, in, yeah, we are also working on, uh, we have also fixed some issues a uh, little, um, but this is the major task. Uh, ongoing tasks are uh, working on test script uh, to, up, uh, to test QDB operator. Uh, this is not uh, published in QDB organization yet. It was my personal uh, repository to test it. Yeah, and uh, I was uh, on the way, then I faced a problem uh, where I'm working right now. Uh, thanks to Stormore, uh, the problem was uh, in replica node. When the replica node was restarting, the data was gone, and then, then we took backup from master, then we started the replica node, that is, standby node. And uh, this is not actually safe process. 
because the data loss can happen though uh, there was uh, there was always master branch before deleting that data but uh, there uh, it is not a good idea to delete and take rebuild every time a pod restarts so i am working now to uh, use the existing data and uh, and, uh, and i am trying to uh, use it efficiently uh, i am uh, right now working on a pr uh, to fix it i am using pg rewind tool and this is merged in uh, postgres apps uh, i don't know questions when but it is available in uh, postgres by building uh, so we are okay there uh, the uh, problem was uh, the the oil can be uh, unavailable when the replica is coming back so we have to make sure the uh, all files are all the all files are there when the postgres is restarting <clears throat> so uh, there was another problem was uh, the timeline for from master can be different as uh, so, uh, imagine there was a, a pod number zero which one was master then the master switch to pod uh, pod one so um, in another standby node the there can be a conflict of timeline uh, and the, it will show a couple of uh, unfortunately i could did not um, block the error uh, there will be error uh, in the, that uh, yeah well, uh, and in that case the application will not work so pc rewind is a very handy tool to uh, came to fix that problem <coughs> so it is uh, it is also <coughs> fixing our problem for missing all files because it also gives error if the uh, all files is not available and so in that case we are right now taking the base backup if uh, the all files get deleted or unavailable but there is a possibility to take the all files from the cloud or archiver storage uh, we have to talk it later about it and then we can decide how to do with it but right now well, if there is any problem happen uh, where the uh, one file is deleted or the, there was no common ancestor and this is i have not i haven't faced it yet but it is a scenario when the two master branch is uh, running concurrently and another was uh, in the, when the uh, all log hints is not on this will also throw a error where uh, all uh, where the PC rewind will, will not work. So in those cases, I took the PC base backup, then restarted the Postgres from um, from scratch, scratch, and then uh, the PC all log all log hints all log hints uh, set to true on, and after that the Postgres will work fine. Uh, there was also a mm, error where the uh, database was not shutting down properly uh, because uh, our all uh, our port uh, the stop signal sent to Docker container is not uh, SIG term or SIG in it. It sends SIG kill which uh, which terminates all the uh, all the processes instantly without uh, giving them enough time to shutting down gracefully so before uh, giving the stop signal uh, there is an option in pod container where the pre-stop uh, probe can be given and uh, where I have given that uh, postgres where I stop the i stop postgres there uh, so uh, before deleting uh, any container it will be stopped by pre hook <coughs> pre-stop hook uh, so that's I'm working right now. Uh, it will be uh, will be fixed soon. Uh, other two tasks is also pending, which is a new version update and uh, Prometheus exporter update. Uh, couple I did couple of them, uh, but we still need to do it before starting our next release.
So uh, we have also uh, getting some issues, important issues. Um, we have got uh, a we have got a issue of this. I don't know how it is actually me, and I need uh, to look into it. And uh, he has also created an PR thanks to him. Uh, we can take a look at it, and if the PR works and it solves the problem, we will definitely gonna mark it. Uh, another uh, problem was from Easter Moore, uh, where he uh, he says that annotations is uh, only applied to deployments, not the annotations. That means we don't provide annotations to for template. Uh, if we uh, we should take care of that too, because this user owns that, we are going to give them. We are going to give them the opportunity. Uh, the issue is the actually the main problem was uh, uh, there was uh, uh, bucket access checking where in uh, every pod uh, where so uh, we are gonna de disable it and that will solve the uh, problem. Oh, we have already disabled it in snapshot part, but it is still in archive. And that is, uh, if our user uses the uh, all the archive, then user and then the, uh, the deployment will check for up check for a bucket access. And so we are gonna fix that too. That means we are gonna disable that too. And, and then there was another problem where a service account is not even provided to Elasticsearch, MySQL, or uh, other databases. Uh, because uh, we uh, because the uh, service account did not need it to uh, those uh, databases but uh, there is a scenario where user wants to set service account uh, so we uh, also need a check in the uh, pod template uh, mentioning the service account then this is the issue uh, uh, in, in case uh, where the, uh, where port template claim mistake is not working uh, when the storage is uh, ephemeral. Uh, so uh, we want to fix that too. Uh, another interesting problem was uh, if, uh, if percentage sign is in uh, password, then exporter of uh, Elasticsearch is not working. Uh, I have to recreate the issue, then uh, it is a very uh, tricky one. Tricky problem, we do never uh, face it, so uh, we are gonna skip that too. Uh, there was another pro, uh, another issue from here is that where uh, we have seen now we are taking where we are taking the uh, PVC from the database uh, storage class, uh, but some users are saying the, that they are using SSD to deploy database, but they don't wanna say. Uh, yeah, they don't want jobs to use that SSD to take backup. They want another storage class. And so we are also uh, providing now the uh, PVC spec is also a part of snapshot now. Uh, if user gives a store PVC spec in snapshot, then uh, the PBA operator will use that spec to create uh, to create the job. If there is no spec, then it will use the default uh, storage class of, uh, okay, of Postgres CRD or uh, other database CRD. Uh, so, uh, so it won't uh, break anything uh, from the, for the uh, old users, but it will be a handy for the new ones. Uh, so this is the progress so far. We are working on to cut a village uh, 0.0.0 in next week, but we are also getting a couple of issues that needs to be fixed. Uh, so let's see how fast we can cut the village. Uh, if anyone has any questions. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks for joining. And see you guys in our next next video. Take care, guys.